Right. Right. through it and into a minute parking space. Well, our other guest this morning, Russ Swift, does just that, and his driving skills are the envy of the entire nation. Just have a look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Well, now, we're joined, as you know, uh, by Russ himself, but also by Jill Harper, who, you know, you've driven in on four wheels as opposed to two. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, and you'd like to put a question or two to, uh, to Russ, wouldn't you? How many attempts did it take to park the Montego between the two parked cars? Um, actually, we had to do it about eight times altogether. Um, but uh, every time we got it, uh, got it right, There's the first time uh, was... Uh, the closest shave. We actually took some paint off the number plate on one of the cars in front, which was the only accident we had. Um, I, th I think somebody must have pulled the cars in a little bit further than I'd intended for the first uh, try, and I tried to get a bit tight to the front end, and uh, they had to come with a felt dip pen and just touch the black <laughs> numbers in again for yeah. that. But so we had to do it about seven or eight times altogether. And how many cars did you actually bash all the way through the That was the only map we put on a car one. the whole time, yes. Yeah. yeah. How long did it take to film? It took uh, six days altogether. Um, um, the driving uh, didn't take uh, that much time altogether, probably two days altogether, I would think, driving, but uh, interspersed with the, the acting parts and the cosmetic shots and things like that. Uh, that was six days altogether. Yeah. Mm. Could, I, uh, could, I, could I just check on this? Thank you, Joe, very much. Um, there was no oil then to help you slide in sideways? No. <clears throat> in fact, um, after the first attempt there, they, they, they came along with a brush and rubbed the tyre marks out mm. and left a bit of dust on, on the surface um, where I was skidded in and, uh, and it, it made it uh, less predictable. Yes. Uh, I needed a, a clean, dry surface to know exactly just how much speed and effort I had to put into it to make the car stop totally parallel mm. with the other two cars. It's wonderfully skillful. Uh, Wendy Wilmer has a question from uh, Penrith in Cumbria. Wendy, your question, please. Hey, good morning. I was wondering how the advert was made. Is it all stunt driving or was there some trick photography used? There was no uh, trick photography whatsoever in the driving. The, the only um, misleading thing, possibly, is the, the, the gap that I was uh, supposed to drive down. As you see me approach the wall, which I, I go up to get onto two wheels, the gap that you see in, uh, behind the wall is, in fact, narrower than I went through. Um, I, I did, in fact, drive through a gap that was impossible to drive through, mm. um, which, as far as I was concerned, would probably have been good enough to show and made it more realistic. Um, uh, rather than show a thing that, that does look pretty so, impossible. So what we see is what happened, really? Exactly what you saw happen. Yeah, there's, no, there's no trick photography whatsoever. Right, I, well, I, I... Carol Davis is joining us. Yes, I can, I can see that people might think, mine it's just not possible. Just very, very skillful driving. Carol, <coughs> Carol Davis uh, from Shrewsbury, your question, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Raz. Good morning. Um, we have a bit of a dispute in our house at the moment between my husband and I. What it is is... Did you actually bump any of the cars that you were just sort of turning into? Because um, I'm sure that it sounds as if there's a, a noise that my husband says you actually bump one of the cars. Just as you're backing it down and ready to turn. Do you know what I mean? Yes, another one. The one where reverse spin that, just before the flower bed. That's right. Um, no, in fact, there was no sound recorded at all when we made that uh, advert. And all the sound you hear through the whole advert is sound effects. And... Uh, uh, a lot of people have mentioned that to me. They say, ah, oh, you, you caught one there. But in fact, it didn't. And uh, uh, some people even say the car moved as I hit it. But uh, either the wind of me rushing past it about six inches away possibly moved it. But I certainly didn't touch it. But Carol, your, your husband is quite, is quite sure he did. Is that right? That's right. Yes, he's, every time he sees the advert, he's literally jumping up and down saying, he's done it, he's done it. <laughs> No, it was, uh, th there must have been a bump in the sound effects uh, as a, uh, uh, that they inserted onto the film. Right. Afterwards. Carol, you have another question, I believe. That's right, yes. Have you always been a stunt driver, or did you have another job before you actually became a stunt driver? Um, I'm yeah, difficult to, um, to call a stunt driver, really. My background is motorsport, and I have had a proper job before this. Uh, I do do it full-time now, but uh, I, I came up through the grassroots of motorsport and uh, turned prof professional at this um, two years ago. As far as being a stuntman, 
Um, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a, a registered stuntman because mm. I'm not a, an actor. And, uh, and, and, and as, uh, to be on, a, on, a stunt, on the stunt register, you've got to be an actor and then qualify for the stunt register. I'm a specialist driver. Right. Uh, it, well, this is relevant, I think, Julie. You had a, you had a, <coughs> a further question along these lines, didn't you, to, uh, to, to I'd like to know what's your most exciting stunt you've ever done. Uh, it's quite exciting driving the trucks on two wheels and, and, and that sort of thing. It's always a, a challenge. Uh, but I think that doing this advert was a, a tremendous uh, challenge for me mm. and, and something that I've longed to do for a lot of years. Yes. And uh, I only hope that um, the people who've seen it uh, mm. give me a chance to do something like this again. Well, um, I'm glad you said that because d did you have a question or did I imagine it? Um, about whether it's possible to make a living from doing <coughs> that kind of stunt driving. Was that you or somebody else? Somebody else. <laughs> somebody else. Well, I will put it on behalf of somebody else. Uh -huh. Is it possible to make a living doing that kind of driving? Well, I was, I've been doing this uh, exhibition type of work for six years now mm -hmm. and, uh, and struggled very, very hard to find people who would actually pay me to do it. Yes. Uh, and in 86, I did actually turn professional mm -hmm. and, uh, and have made a living out of it for the last two years and this this year um, we've developed our displays and right. and um, and the work uh, to, to give me a good income from good it. well I don't think the Montego commercial could have done you any harm no, I don't think so. thank you Russ very it's much for, for joining us and indeed Jill many thank thanks you. indeed thank you oh well I beg your pardon we're going to Michael now Michael thank you very much indeed Bob I was just thinking you know I don't know what all the fuss about that advert is at all I usually drive like that uh, Mrs Wilkins from Southampton gave us a call